Good morning and welcome to this week's video. Um, don't know about the rest of you, but I've been getting a bit fed up with all the wet rain and miserable weather that we've been having. But anyway, it's actually looking dry this morning. A bit of low cloud. Um, just chucked the drone up just to see if I could get above the cloud, just to see if there was a bit of an inversion, but um, nothing is, is too thick at the moment. Uh, so I'm walking up over a place on the Quantock Hills called Cothelston Hill. Um, I'm going to walk up over the top and then drop back down around and go into the trees and come back through. So let's walk on up and see what delightful compositions we can find this morning. Okay, so uh, just catching this first shot, this cloud is blowing through <coughs> and every now and again, the trees at the top there, they're called um, the Seven Sisters and they're just getting lost in the mist. So I'm just taking a leading line up through here, just uh, just giving them and then them in the background. Um, I'm not 100% sure it can works, but I've taken the shot and then I'm gonna see if I can get a better composition. Um, grabbed it whilst I could because the, the mist is blowing in and out. Uh, and every now and again, the trees sort of get get a bit clearer. So, and I want them, I want them softened in that mist. So, right, let's uh, walk up a bit further and see if we can get a better composition. Okay, so that wind has got up now as well and it's bitterly cold. Um, but getting this, uh, I think I prefer this composition. I've got this uh, gorse bush in the bottom here with a bit of yellow, bit of colour, and then um, the Seven Sisters trees there in the background, just sort of getting softened by that mist, just to make it a, a little bit mysterious. But um, but yeah, it's. it's it's not a showstopper, but it's a it's a shot to get get us going. <laughs> Okay, so I'm coming out to the end of the hill. Um, just gonna hang around here for a while because looking above me now, the cloud is, this mist is thinning above me. Um, I would chuck the drone up, but I think it's, it's probably a bit windy now. The wind has picked up here, up on top of the hill. But what I'm gonna hang around is because uh, on the sheltered side of the hill, it's still quite, misty down over the, down over the edge so I'm wondering if this this top layer of cloud may lower down and drop and down in the valley it may it may stay so um, so I think I might just kill a bit of time hang around here for a while and see what happens okay let's play a bit of a waiting game come back in a bit Okay, what I was hoping for hasn't materialized. Um, it's just blowing through. It's just it's just clearing, but it's just thinning out at the same time. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna get what I was hoping for, but uh, all I have got is freezing cold stood waited. So I'm gonna make my way back down right now, head down into the trees, get out of this wind 
and uh, see what compositions we can find down in the down in the woodland right let's go so <clears throat> just dropped down into the woods this scene that's quite nice um i'm actually cropping in sort of that area there um sort of a little bit of hazy mist on the end i showed a composition in the back of the camera so what i've got is that tree there on the left hand side this one on the right hand side and that one just leaning into the scene bit of a misty background so just getting a couple of shots of this and then i'm going to walk on down over and drop down into the drop down into the valley <coughs> So I'm heading down into <coughs> unexplored territory now, as far as I'm concerned. Um, just saw the footpath heads down through this way, drops down into the valley. Um, I think there is a bit of water down here, but I don't know if it's any, there's any anything any good. Um, but anyway, only one way to find out, that's to go and check it out. Okay, it's uh, fair to say I've gone well off piste now. I'm uh, right down uh, off track, so I've uh, managed to squeeze my way through a certain few places. Uh, my Outdoor Active app um, with, the, with the maps that I've downloaded on that is keeping me on track, hopefully. Um, but anyway, um, I've taken a couple of shots further back, which I didn't bother talking through, but I'll put them up at some point. So I'm just going to keep uh, walking down. The worry is I'm going down, down, down. At some point I've got to go up, so which might be a struggle. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so we found water. Uh, just got this little drop off here. It's not very much, but it just looked quite pleasant because looking back up through there, back up through and then at the back there, we've got that fallen tree across. And in the camera, it's looking rather nice if I just... That's the shot I've just taken. Uh, slow, ex slower exposure on the on the water. Um, I had to up the AER f-stop to f22 just to get a bit of motion blur in that water, or get enough for uh, one third of a second. Um, the rest of it was f11, taking a couple of shots at the back, a couple of focuses, but f11, and. Um, it was the shutter speed at f11 was one one sixth of a second so yeah it's uh so i've taken two or three shots and may get away with a single shot because there's still motion blur on the one sixth of a second at the f11 but if not i've got i have got a slightly slower one that i can blend in as well as but yeah not looking too bad Okay, so this bit of water is just getting more and more overgrown the further I go down and more difficult to get to anyway. Um, I've actually 
come out from the undergrowth now and managed to find a track so i am going to head back up over the hill back towards the van but this scene just caught my eye so i've just walked a bit further on with this this backlit these backlit trees down here and this track coming up through just the grass on it just picking up the light um yeah it looked looked quite pleasant so i've sort of walked a bit further down the track so that i can just grab this shot before i go further up so in the back of the camera I'm not sure if you can see there there's a bit of glare take the exposure down a bit um but i'm actually shooting at f11 um one twentieth one twentieth of a second iso 64. so let's get the exposure i'm i'm cancelling out that sunlight at the top there cancelling that out and uh, just getting this this backlit here um actually now looking on the osmo here i'm just getting some light rays coming through so i may just zoom out a little bit on the camera and see if i can pick them up on the camera so okay let's get uh, get these shots and then i'm gonna make the the steep climb back up to the van Okay, so <clears throat> making a climb back up, it is steep, so, but whilst I've still got an ounce of breath left in my lungs, I thought I'd take the opportunity to say thank you for checking out this week's video. Again, a bit shorter content, um, struggling with conditions again on days off, um, but at least I've got out. So, once again, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscription button. Keep up with the latest content. And give the video a thumbs up. Please, after that climb, that would be really appreciated. And uh, drop me a video down, uh, drop me a comment down below. Again, thanks for watching. Till next time, take it easy. <laughs>